SpaceX scrubs Starship launch. Hello everyone, welcome back. Here is our new episode with latest SpaceX and space news. So, let's get started. Well, I think it's not yet time for the most powerful rocket to take flight for the first time. We all were excited to see the first maiden flight of Ship 24 and Booster 7 today, April 17th, from its Starbase facility at Boca Chica, Texas, but unfortunately, SpaceX has scrubbed the launch. SpaceX was about to launch their Starship rocket, but with less than 9 minutes to go, they found a problem with the pressurization system on the bottom part of the rocket. So, they decided to practice the steps they do before launching, like filling it with fuel and checking everything, without actually launching the rocket. This way, they can figure out more about the rocket and its systems. SpaceX ended up with a wet dress rehearsal, WDR, after the problem was noticed. In my opinion, the scrub was important as it could allow them to find and fix the problem fully, rather than rushing to shoot it into orbit just for the sake of announcement. Although, I was disappointed a bit when they said that they are going to end up with a WDR because I was sitting with my popcorn, ready to watch the Starship launching. The point of the countdown is to allow the teams to progress that T-Zero time in a coordinated fashion and really to unveil any issues prior to the ignition sequence. So, the countdown did its job today, said SpaceX's Kate Tice during today's launch coverage. The most common question I got after the immediate scrub was, when is the next attempt? You know, SpaceX must wait at least 48 hours before attempting another launch. Also, to be clear, a new launch time has yet to be announced by SpaceX officials. Prior to the announcement that today's attempt would be scrubbed, SpaceX founder and CEO Elon Musk stated via Twitter during the countdown that a pressurant valve appears to be frozen, so unless it starts operating soon, no launch today. SpaceX is creating the Starship rocket to transport both people and cargo to the Moon and Mars. Additionally, the company aims for Starship to become the primary vehicle for all of its future space travel endeavors. For new viewers, the Starship system has two main components, the Super Heavy, which is a massive first-stage booster, and the Starship, which is the upper-stage spacecraft. When these parts are stacked together, the entire rocket stands at an impressive height of 394 feet, which makes it taller than any other rocket ever constructed. Furthermore, the Starship will have an unprecedented level of power, with 33 Raptor engines in its first stage generating 16.5 million pounds of force during liftoff. This amount of thrust is nearly twice as much as NASA's current record holder, the Space Launch System Mega Rocket. Additionally, both ship and booster are powered by SpaceX's next-gen Raptor engines, which are designed to be fully and rapidly reusable. That's all about today's SpaceX updates.